You couldn't have known this, and yet you've chosen the correct role for me. Very well. I'll follow your lead. The guys you're about to meet, don't think of them as human beings. Their psychopath crime coefficients are above regulation value. They're all deeply disturbed. That part seems a little personal. Because it was personal! <laughs> well, I've never seen a hero who's so inept that she falls downstairs, cries, and has to get put back together by a couple demons! Without you, I'd be nothing! <laughs> My fans make me who I am. They make me a success. It's because of them that I've come so far in my life. So this is what a nationally ranked swimmer's build looks like. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, sir. I'm Aichiro Nitori, second year, and it's, uh, it's an honor to swim with you. Like I figured, I'm gonna have to go with the 8-6. That baby's the only real possibility. Because no matter what, it's gotta be an FR. Right, Takumi? Well, I guess it can't be helped. After all, you'll have to deal with my wicked skills eventually. Summon. So why does this, an awkward little hug, between my bro, the political dweeb with the charisma of a sweet potato, and some otaku girl with a head full of jellyfish who can't even hardly see him, why the hell does it piss me off, huh? Just let Takizo help you. We're here to support each other. My name is Futaro Uesugi, and I'll be your tutor starting today. Let's all make studying fun and, uh... <laughs> what the hell? WHY IS NOBODY IN HERE?! Don't have to tell me twice. Was that guy who escaped with Bali one of them, Son Goku or something? That must mean this conference we're going to is about the Chaos Brigade. Do you have any idea what I've been through, lady? First I found out Yamori's dead and now this! Damn you! <laughs> Go ahead, hurt me! I got nothing to live for anymore! Um, did you want something? Oh, sorry, my apologies. Sakuragi and I are class officers. Akazawa is in charge of countermeasures. We came here today as representatives of Class 3. Oh, that's right. You did kill a pro wrestler and a martial artist. So what? A guy who gets off on beating the shit out of women and children is the weakest kind of scumbag there is. We don't need you here, Chrome. I'm not dumb enough to believe that your dubious sorcery would help us. Troubling, yes, but we dare not expose her while she's so close to them. Who knows what she might do? Monica Toa, who's currently below the radar somewhere in Toa City. I'll wager she's our maestro. You like this place? It's super popular right now, busy all the time. Been wanting to come here for a while, and our meeting was the perfect Hey, Kawase. Hot or not, that's all that matters. That's my motto, my words to live by. If you're not hot, you may as well not be human. Normal guys might survive high school, but a hot guy could rule the school. The fact of the matter is, it doesn't matter what we perceive him to be! But what?! The reports say hundreds of soldiers saw him! And those who were there say they saw him fighting other Titans! And that means they saw him get swarmed by the Titans as well! To put it plainly, the Titans saw him the same way they see each and every human being as their prey! And it doesn't matter how else you may look at it! That is an irrefutable fact! The survivors erected walls Maria, Rose, and Sina, withdrawing behind them in frightened huddles for what was to be a century of uneasy peace. You guys truly are unusual. Frank's designs all over the place, using nicknames instead of code numbers. What's the point of that, by the way? Well, Mitsuki has spoken his mind. What's your opinion on the matter? Can a human being do the job? Can you give yourself mind, body, and soul to the service of yokai? A future diary. Everything I've seen, no, everything I'm going to see is already here, recorded for posterity. Every little detail about what my day has in store. Those are the red devils bearing down on us, pride of the Tokugawa. Finally, a worthy opponent. Kiss this world goodbye, men. We die! Awesome. That was perfect. Perfect! I'm controlling stronger and stronger power every time. <laughs> I'm getting close. A few more attacks and I should be ready. That I would become strong. That I would become an ally of justice. But whenever I dove inside my head and escaped the world around me, the truth pulled me back. To the harsh reality. No, I won't! At least not yet! First, I must speak about this super cliché turn of events! Why should a man panic and avert his eyes? Are we not all just fellow humans? 
Getting my face smashed in merely for glimpsing semi-nude women that are right in front of me is hardly a just trade. Would that not make me the victim? <laughs> so I'll make it count and burn this image into my brain! Kyoko is actually the principal's granddaughter. Oh, and her father's pretty important. He's the current head of the Onmyo agency. Wait a second, detailed full body sketches? You mean she's the, the gay kid? <gasps> oh my god, is the reason Anna never came to visit me because... You've had her tied up in some twisted art dungeon? After that episode, Mikoto Urabe was immediately labeled a weirdo. That was pretty much the death knell of her social life. She spent almost every break sleeping at her desk. Soon enough, everyone was avoiding her. Hey, by the way... Just forget what Subaru was saying. We're glad you're here, and so is Subaru, no matter what he said. This silver knife can be used to kill vampires like us with just a single stab to the heart. Nice to meet you, young man. Beside me is the Sir Vamp of Envy. His name's Doubt Doubt. You might have guessed I'm his Eve. Just a simple antique dealer traveling across the world. Won't you please hold me, Mahiru? You've already done more than enough for me, more than I could have dreamed of. My final season was my best one yet. That's because of you. Thank you for everything, so much. Thank you for being my coach. You should know that other countries will try to invade you and destroy everything about you that makes you unique. A big country like Russia could roll over your borders at any time and the rest of the world will hardly know the difference between you two anymore. Oh, Lithuanian, that's Russian, isn't it? What did you say? Sire. Don't you accuse me of lying. I hate liars. This is still my chess piece. I merely use my power to its full potential. That's not unfair. You're jumping the gun. Grand Zeno intended for this announcement to come later, but due to your friendship with the Omni King Goku, I guess I'll make an exception. <laughs> I did it! I'm finally free! <laughs> A valid point. But this would go much smoother if someone with more experience takes the lead. Apologies if that sounds condescending. Well, why don't we go make something together right now, okay? We don't have to buy her lunch. And I'll teach you how to make my favorite dish. There you have it! In that case, I'll just have to become king of the world. So as long as we've still got your armor, stopping the apocalypse and becoming king of the world's no dream! No way. Not me. However, I'd like to restore Yukari Harai, who is part of you now. I think you stand a chance against the Royal Thunder Commander? Where are my manners? I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Ryo Yoake. I work for the Reed Life Laboratory. Sounds kinda fake to me. It's as real as that stench of beer and failure. As well you should, imbecile. Meet the second prince of Clarines Kingdom. I'm Zen Wisteria. I feel like this party turned against me. I'm just trying to enjoy all this good food. Don't sweat it. Oh, by the way, you can call me Geno. But if we work together, my prediction says that probability will be reduced to 25%. I like those odds. I don't care. I'll go in alone. Alone? Why? Because I'm not like you two. Yours is a fearsome beauty. The very moment our eyes met, you wrapped my heart in shackles from which there can be no hope of ever breaking free. They think they're tough, but those fairies don't stand a chance against her. They're toast, you'll see. I promise to set them free. Now, let's fight him together. Hello, everyone. I am Akira Agarkar Yamada. I just moved to Enoshima, and I am transferring into this class as of today. I may be 25, but don't let that stop us from becoming friends. It's a pleasure to meet you all. So stupid. I can't even count how many times Sakaki's told me how important it is to land the first blow, and I get punched while crying for help! I've gotta land a hit, but there's no way I'm gonna win! Satellizer, please listen to me, you've got to stop this! I know you're angry! I saw everything that happened! What Miyabi did to you was unforgivable! But don't do this, it's gone too far! Are you sure? <laughs> well then, I accept this challenge! 
Wow, preparing a puffer whale has been a lifelong dream of mine. Here's where things get serious. We'll be attacking Fushikawa's vanguard. Use the second company spread out in the west. Thanks for that wonderfully antagonistic introduction. The dangerous and unrefined Sakamaki Izayoi at your service. I'm also crude, vicious, and hedonistic, so I'm basically the worst person you've ever met. You should read all the warning labels before copying an attitude. Okay, just bring it down a bit. And you should probably get out of that first. Do you mind changing? Are you crazy or something? What do you think you're doing using your magic in public? And you're trying to use it against innocent people? How can you even call yourself a magic user? <laughs> surprise, surprise! Of course. Well, hello. It's been a while. Don't tell me you've forgotten the most sadistic freak of Val Salem's lot. It's me, Femt, the king of depravity! Must be a pretty tough decision for you. We may not be wolves like the Ice Witch, but as you saw, we can easily get our hands on Bento. As long as we work together. Stop it, guys. What happened to the teamwork we used to beat the elite monsters? <sighs> No need to be frightened, Hell. <sighs> if we go to the land of Canaan, I can make this all go away, I promise. You and I can live happily ever after, Hell. What does blood mean? What do names mean? These things cannot hone your talent. I see your weaknesses clearly, even in the dark of night. <laughs>